In this video, we are going to explain to you how to create an IP over E connection by using 802.1 AD protocol. 802.1 AD protocol is nothing but standard uh, Q and Q protocol. The procedure is also valid for a dot one Q mode of protocol. Here, IP over E stands for IP over Ethernet. So IP over Ethernet can be of two types, static IP, where we manually enter the static IP address into the ONT WAN, or it could be a DHCP. DHCP server in the upper layer would automatically assign an IP address to the ONT. Or if we have a DHCP relay mechanism, it would authenticate the DHCP parameters and then assign the IP to the ONT. Example here, we consider this network structure. So we have a router and then we have circuit the Ethernet physical port 1 and the physical port 2. And we have a ONT and then we have PC here. For the purpose of the demonstration, I am going to use the Ethernet port number 1. In a setup, we have a dot one q uplink. But if you need the procedure to configure on a dot one ad uh, mode, we have already covered in our previous video. I will share you the link. You can uh, view the video where we have described how to create a PPPA connection. And there we have covered the procedure for configuring a dot one ad mode, port. So for now, I proceed with uh, q port. The L2 service is the same uh, conveyed in the PPPoE service creation. So the only thing which alters is the VLAN number here. We are using uh, 1849 and then we need to create a WAN profile of the IP over E format. This is the only different procedure from that that is used for a PPPoE service creation. Here we are selecting the now we go and log into the ONT, verify that the ONT is up and active. You can see here this is the ONT which I want and it is physical status activated. The status of the ONT is fine. I open the ONT. So here let me just verify the various parameters. Is it fine? I can also check the optical values. Is within the recommended limits. For the left side, we have this option called ONT WAN configuration. Here, we go and create a new WAN profile, VLAN 1849. So, card number 1 and then the pawn port number 2. I want the ONT number 1. Now here, I make the WAN enable and the protocol mode is IP or Ethernet and IPv4 option. And here I type the VLAN 1849. Priority we can keep the default zero. And next we ensure that the TPID selection it needs to be 0x8100. And here I need to make this as DHCP enable. And if I give if I want a static IP, I can give here. But in my case, it's going to be a DHCP server assigned IP. And these fields I can keep them in, and if need, I can disable the firewall. And this is the MTSA. Click on submit. Click on yes. Successfully reported WAN. You can see here, go back to the WAN configuration. I created a WAN, and this has been successfully reported to the ONT. So the next step is I need to go and create the GPON connection for this ONT. So let me first check whether the service profile 1849 exists. We have here already a service profile. Another purpose of voice, I have already created a service profile of this 1849. So I will use this profile in my service creation. I will go here, GPON connections. Okay. Click on add new connection. So here we run 1849. So here I select the VIP mode of service. One VIP means one WAN service in the ONT. 
the pawn port number two, point E number one. Then here I select the service profile which I want. So this is the profile which I want to select. All other fields are getting populated. Click submit. So it takes a few seconds for the software to make the hardware and the GPON connection is created. So let me filter on this ONT number. I can see here that a web type of service has been created with the VLAN number 1849 and this is the return time of creation. To ensure that the allocation ID has some number on it. If it is zero, kindly delete the connection and recreate. We go here to the L2 services and we create a flow point template with the VLAN 1849. You can see here I have already created this. So already a VLAN template is created for 1849. And next is we create a VLAN service. You can see here already a service exists for VLAN 1849. And I added the pawn port number 2 with the VLAN 1849. And this is my uplink port. And I added the flow point template VLAN 1849. Now, let me verify whether my service is working fine. So, what I need to do is uh, let me log in to the ONT. I have my ONT ready. So, I have logged in through the Wi Fi of my laptop to the ONT. So, let me log into the ONT page. Here, you can go and have a view of the pawn status and then the van info. So here we can see I pushed the van from the OLT and the van is successfully created here and we can see that there is a IP assigned from the DHCP directly. I have successfully been able to create an IP over e service. So I, this is the van MAC C3A6. Let me verify here whether the MAC is red. see mine is pawn port number 2 and uh, my ONT is connected to pawn port number 2 and we can see the MAC C3 A6 successfully we are able to read this. So this proves that my IP over e service is with this we end this video of the method how to create an IP over e connection.